All right, guys, before this video starts, I want to let you know that there is a 20% off sale going on site-wide for every Mav product we have to offer in the store. We're doing a spring cleaning right now, so t-shirts, long sleeves, outerwear, jackets, the new guide pants, and what we have left of the fleece is all on sale. We also have some accessories for your truck, Nelgene's, water bottles, hats. We're running 20% off on everything site-wide, so go ahead and head over to mavoutdoors.com and get your deal today. This is an underwater camera. It shows you the depth, the temperature, the water, and all four fishing holes over here. Oh, dude. Hydraulic. <laughs> we're, uh, we're literally quite living in luxury tonight. Yes, please. <laughs> Good afternoon Hello, from sunny Minnesota. Familiar face? We're going camping tonight. Thanks for the ride, dude. Yeah, no problem, man. I'm walking. <laughs> it is the first day that we are driving out on the ice here in Minnesota. We've got about 12 inches of good hard ice and it is like two degrees outside right now. It's chilly. It's freezing. Absolutely cold. Today I'm accompanied by Murray. We're up here in Northern Minnesota and we're gonna be going after some, some walleyes and some crappies today. Fishing's been slow, but we've got a pretty sweet stay for the night. Oh wait, we leave this off in Minnesota. Yep, keep those doors unlocked. And the windows partially yes, down. Might seem kind of crazy for some of you folks, but even though it's cold outside, you gotta keep the windows down when you're going on the ice because if you go in, you wanna be able to open your door. Yeah, I'm a big door guy. You're a big door guy? Yeah, I don't mess with the windows. No. I need to open the door. <laughs> home sweet home. Home sweet home. So we've done a lot of camping on this channel, and this is gonna be the first time that we're staying overnight in a luxury hard-sided house. Courtesy to Murdoch. Oh my gosh, this place is nice. <laughs> no way. We're just getting set up here. And there's already there's already a bite on the rattle reel? Yeah, it's the bobber's gone. Oh sick. It's either a perch or a bass or a pike or it's nothing. Oh, there's some tension. Oh, whatever it was, it just dropped it. No way. Yeah. So we're talking about a luxury camper here. We're, uh, we're literally quite living in luxury tonight. This is an underwater camera. It shows you the depth, the temperature of the water, and all four fishing holes over here. And then you have a state-of-the-art Garmin Panoptics live scope unit, where if you can't see them on the camera, whoops, I just kicked her camera. Where if you can't see them on the camera, you can see them on the sonar. This is insane. Not to mention, we have our very own little romantic fireplace, buddy. Oh, <laughs> There's that pesky perch that we just had on the rattle reel. While well, I was getting stuff unpacked. We've got some bags. We've got enough stuff to stay here for the next 24 hours. Got ourselves a meal planned, and we're going to be staying warm in this uh, Minnesota cold snap. I brought you some dried mangoes, buddy. And then I brought you some of my... I brought you some of my venison... Uh, jalapeno sticks too. I'm not gonna lie dude, this is probably one of the nicer fish houses I've ever been in. It's one of the nicest fish houses I've been in. Look, you can see the minnow and the weight falling down right there on the sonar. This thing too, check this out. This whole bed. Oh, dude. Hydraulic. <laughs> dope. It's like a full size bed. Yeah, it's so sick. <laughs> They're staring at it. Oh! <laughs> Dude, that bait's about as big as that perch. Mm -hmm. 
All right, well, let's get to fishing. I got these handy hole covers so you don't drop the phone down. That's so cool that we have one graph that really picks us all up. I mean, you can see, you can see my bait falling down on that left side there. So as I was saying, this is a hard-sided fish house. It might look pretty crazy to some of you people that aren't from the Midwest, but this is very common out here. So common, in fact, that there's little tiny cities that form on frozen lakes in the winter. And there can be hundreds of houses, just like this one, scattered throughout. Now, although there's a lot more styles of fish houses like this on the lake, I'm gonna be the first to say that this is probably one of the more luxurious ones. But some things that they all include are these types of wheels that you can just drop the entire fish house to the ground. So you can actually winch up the house so it lifts off the ice and you can tow it behind a truck. But unlike a regular RV, they uh, lower back down to the ice by a hand crank. You can see that the outside of the house is insulated with snow shoveled on the side. And we have different exhausts because there's propane heat burning on the inside to keep us warm with a thermostat. Although this fish house does have its very own bathroom, we have our very own portable john outside with some peanuts by the look of it. On the back side of the house, you got yourself a ladder if you wanted to climb on top of the roof to get a scenic sunset. Not really a whole lot going on on this side besides one of the more important parts, which is the propane, which is not only gonna keep us warm, but it's gonna help us cook some dinner tonight. Like I said, we have about 12 inches of ice out here. That's just enough ice for a lighter weight 4x4 vehicle, but we're definitely pushing it with Murray's Tahoe. On the inside, we've got a bunk bed that comes down on hydraulics, two big leather couches, some a, a badass, and then another bed that folds down right here. And here's a look at the bathroom. Murray's been using it for some storage, but even has a tiny shower if you needed to bathe up out here. So you might have seen some of my videos before where I explain what these are, but if you haven't, this is a rattle reel. Makes it pretty easy to understand what the heck's going on here. It's a reel that has rattles in it. Pull the line, makes a noise. Put a live minnow on there, and when a fish bites it, it rattles at you and lets you know to set the hook. Works better when the fish are a little bigger, but right now we're dealing with some pea shooters. We've been uh, fishing here for maybe a half hour. Only seen some perch so far, but have high hopes that fish you might pick up later. Haven't seen Murray in a while. He gifted me a pretty sweet t-shirt here. Thank you, buddy. If the fishing is slow, we uh we got some plans to be able to kill some time. We might have brought a... Uh, bring the zombies. Bye. Yeah, that's the oh, zombies bite. Yeah. No, no, no. Stupid. Hooked up. That's a nice bird. You could eat that one. Yeah. Got ourselves a big fat perch. They're all full of eggs right now. You can see how fat they are. It's a chubby perch. Although it probably tastes pretty good, I did bring uh, some walleye fillets with, and I don't feel like cleaning up a mess of those, so he's going home. Maybe. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh, that's huge. There's a microwave in here. Yep. All right, just because the fish aren't eating Murray doesn't mean that we shouldn't be. A little venison stick. Oh, there's a big fish down there. There's a big fish down there. What is that? It's a walleye. Is it really? Oh, it's a pike. Get him. Catch him. Oh, he's going to do it. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh that dude. Cool. That was pretty sick. Yeah, you want to get that? Yeah. That was... Oh, he broke you he off. Like, oh, he didn't break me off. He didn't? No. This came off. Sweet. That was sick. That was cool to see. All right, folks. Well, it is prime time out here. Well, there's a nice, nice scenic look at the outhouse there. It's prime time. It's starting to get dark. We still have a mess of perch underneath us, which is kind of uncommon for a good fishing spot. Um, usually, this would be the time where walleye start rolling in. But I guess it's just been slow out here with this really big cold snap that came through Minnesota. It's been 
tougher fish in these last few days. So still have hope. Got a couple perch. That's fun. Just because the fish aren't eating, you might have heard me say this before, but it doesn't mean that we shouldn't eat. So I'm going to start cooking. <laughs> Same. I like this kind of ice fishing a lot. Me camera was all fun and games until it got too dark out but can't see too much anything down there now we're gonna have to rely on the sonar making murray a meal i don't think he's ever had before and i think he's gonna enjoy tonight we're making japanese pork katsu and ready to go. Not very often have I been ice camping and had access to a microwave. We got our pork getting deep fried here. This one up nice. What? On what? On my dead bait? Oh gosh. This is gonna be chaos. Oh, it's on my dead bait. Do you have it? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Can you get the hole cover? Yep. Careful for the oil, man. Oh, he's bobbing. No way. No way. I don't know. It doesn't really feel like a walleye. Pike? That seems, that seems pikeish, yeah. It seems very pikey. Still pretty cool. Yeah. This thing's bending my rod pretty good. Oh, it's a giant walleye. No. It's a huge one. No. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Oh my gosh. It's huge. Careful. It's huge. Oh! Are you, are you kidding me, man? Oh my gosh. Murray, look at that fish. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, look at this fish. Dude. We're frying up pork right now. That's like a 22 inch. Yeah, it's probably like a 22, 23. Maybe even bigger. 
Bro! That was sick, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, uh, I gotta dry my hands and I gotta get this pork out of here because that took away too long. <laughs> dude, I've been out here for this is night too. Yeah. First one. Yeah, sick one. <laughs> Dude, I can't, you can't make this stuff up. All right, I'm putting a cover on this hole and I'm gonna set my dead bait once it's, or my dead stick once it's safe again. Port crispened up super nice. Try not to trip over my fishing rods. That fish could not have come at a worse time or a better time because, like Murray said, he's been out here for a couple days now, and that's the first walleye that yeah, he's got. Yeah, that's so. the first mark Dude. of a walleye I've seen. Crush. Dude, that means we might get some more. That's a nice. That was a nice sized one too. That's my biggest one of the year. Yeah. All right, so I prepared this at home already. This is a. Uh, this is katsu sauce. Got to just add some of the secret ingredient. this a couple years ago i convinced murray to pick up his first japanese knife and now i'm using it for one of the first times Is that crazy? dude it's funny i love this thing i love these knives so much That is pork tonkatsu. It looks insane. And I don't know how much you like your apple juices, so oh, got you a going. Snapple apple. <laughs> it's gonna be really hot, so maybe separate them a little bit and let it cool, but that sauce is bomb. You like it? Worcestershire, Worcestershire and um oyster sauce and a couple other things. You like that? Yeah, it's really good. It's like one of the staples that I had in Japan. The pork. 10 out of 10? <laughs> Ice fishing. <laughs> That's the secret ingredient right there. Wash your sister sauce. Alright, there we are. Pork katsu all finished up. I think while I was plating mine, Marie got a pretty good head start on his. 10 out of 10. Wow. I don't normally pat myself on the back, but that that sauce is like spot on. <laughs> oh, yeah, this sauce is bomb. Very good. It's like a sweet barbecue almost. Mm -hmm. It's like good for your soul food. Oh my gosh. It wasn't recording. For sure walleye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Murray just hooked up on a walleye. You're not stuck on here, are you? No. No. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he's, he's hooked onto my hand. What the? What? Oh, weird. What? Nice work, dude. Dinner's done. Murray just caught a walleye. We got a movie going. And our panoptics going. Go! Shaking. We got one, we got one on the dead stick right now. Yep. <laughs> the, oh, it's a mic. Um, that's why it flew in like that. Yeah. That's where it came out of nowhere. Yeah. He bit it. What? He bit the cord. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, no never way. Never have I ever seen that. I've never seen that either. But, let go. Dude, that's wild. <laughs> that was weird. I'm gonna make it some tea, my guy. Yes, please. Forgot to bring a mug, so we're using a can. Probably gonna burn the crank out of my hand. Well, we've been marking our fair share of fish, but they haven't been eating. We've probably seen, I don't know, close to 10. 
There's one coming in right now on the TV. It's crazy too, because we're keeping it down right on bottom yeah. where they seem to be hanging out and they don't even want to do anything with it. We've tried uh, downsizing little hooks with minnows on it, putting more live bait in their face after getting denied on the spoon and can't make meat. It is also completely dark out right now. It's about getting close to 8 p.m. It's a good time to enjoy some tea and kick the feet up and be happy that we're warm when it's so cold outside. Right now it is negative three degrees outside. It's supposed to get down to negative five tonight. If we can keep it a warm 70 degrees in here tonight, we're both happy campers. He knows what this is. It's been a while since I've played the OG zombies. We're about to enjoy out here on the ice. Nice game, Murda. What is it? What is it? Oh my gosh, it's the biggest perch I've ever seen. Woo! <laughs> yeah, boy! Go to bed. Oh, that's not a perch. Come on. Everybody's <laughs> excited this morning, Murray. We gotta get up. This is another perch. Why are they so small? Well, these things didn't wake me up in the middle of the night. In case you're wondering what kind of fishing rods Fishing More uses. I mean, come on. The best. Just only the best. Only the best in the business. You can buy them on MavOutdoors.com. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tastes like you put a whole lot oh. of Skittles in your mouth. Yeah, dude, it's so good. Mmm. I love it. Oh, why is it sour? All right, powering up the camera for the first time today. We're gonna see if we got any buddies hanging out downstairs. All right, I'm just sitting here cooking up some bacon for Murray and I. Did all this work. Getting Murray's. Just kidding, Murray's been chefing up some breakfast. Pretty easy. Our walleyes are bricks. Oh, that hurt actually. Don't kick a frozen walleye in your slippers. It's kind of nice out. Besides the fact that it's night of six. Start with that. Boy. Yes, sir. They don't even have any perch hanging out with us anymore. They don't even like us. Good. Bussin' bussin'. Alright, successful night luxury camping. Caught some fish. Had decent company. Thanks for the invite again. As always, until next time, you already know the drill, just keep on trucking.